Right guys, today we're speaking about possibly the stupidest f*** on Twitter. John Wolf, aka BLFC Pizza Guy, was caught in a bit of controversy after he was openly sexist and misogynistic towards another individual on Twitter. This only adds to the growing issue of misogyny in the fandom that we're seeing, particularly when it comes to female or female identifying people even want to being a part of the fandom. You know, the £400 incel saying the fandom was created for men, yeah those types of f***ing things. But nevertheless, let's read what was actually said in this situation. So now come pizza bitch is defending a zoo file? What's new? And y'all follow that bitch? They respond with, Say it to my face at BLFC you f battle axe. From what I believe this begun when an individual set mentioned above, tweeted out that John Wolf was supporting a zoo file. They were and we'll get into that later, but John responds, Say it to my face you fucking battle axe. Mate, you ate 19 dudes semen off of a pizza. You're more of a weapon than anyone you stupid fuck. In order to become a niche internet micro celebrity, you're subjecting yourself to exposure of deadly STDs for clout. I mean, it's your funeral quite literally. John don't continued on a post that this person made while on their period, a natural cycle that happened to every female. They were speaking about uh, some pain and grievance that they were going through while on their menstrual cycle and what was happening with it, which is a very private thing to speak about. And then this stupid idiot responds with, No wonder you're being such a bitch to me on the timeline. It all makes sense now. Keep your nose where it belongs and out of my business that doesn't involve you. Like, you responded to a post stating this. And, like, how can you be so out of touch, you fucking... <laughs> How can you be? What sort of semen fueled wet brain do you have? A physical boulder made out of volcanic rock is smarter and can read the room and understand moral and ethics more than you can. This just is not okay. When someone posts about some form of emotional distress or physical issues they are hard having regardless of it being a menstrual cycle, mental illness or physical illness, you have no right to make such a snarky comment and expect it to be a okay and just thing to do just because someone pointed out some, something that you actively did. But loving this, the internet done its thing and clowned on this Baba boy. Is that a raincoat? Yes, it is. In 87, Huey released this for their most accomplished album. I think they're undisputed masterpieces. Hip to be square. A song so catchy, most people probably don't listen to the lyrics. But they should, because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends. It's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! Over three separate apologies he's made, he's received over 471 responses slating him. Heavily or gay guys responding on behalf of women when they should not be doing so. This isn't your place to accept apologies. Along with this, he's had over 905 quote retweets across all apologies slating the fuck out of him. What John believes is here, if you'll apologise it'll be all okay. That's why you include an invita in invitation to your next cum party. Are you fucking stupid? Are you clapped? Sir, drop that weak ass mixtape in my DMs again. I ain't gonna have no choice but to beat your goofy ass. This is the fire Festival let the $3,000 terror roller coaster ride slide away for a ticket for free to the next fire Festival. Just forget the fact that I was a hard, hard misogynist and supported a zoo file and come to my next sex party. So while I didn't actually want to read his bullshit disingenuous apologies about how he's going to change and he's actively changing and he has many friends who are women, I just wanted to watch his initial apology video. This is tough to, to make because I want to take accountability for what I said and I want to apologize for what I said and... I'm not personally sexist or misogynistic in any way towards women. I'm really not. I have a lot of women friends in this fandom. We love the women friends comment. I have a lot of gay friends, so I can't be homophobic. My brother in Christ. You can still be misogynistic even if you have female friends. Even gay people can be homophobic towards other gay people. Trans people can be transphobic as shit. And it's a huge problem that I even face in the community because I don't pass. So while you have female friends, what you say and do can still be misogynistic. Not just because, oh, I have female friends. And I've never been hateful or mean towards them. And today I was. I was hateful and mean towards a woman for being a woman. And... That's not okay. Even if they were insulting me, even if they were saying stuff to me that angered me and they'd be mad, there's no excuse for what I said and what I did. And I want to take accountability for that. And I apologize, like deeply from the bottom of my heart. I, I apologize for what I said. 
to them and to anyone that has to read it or see what I said. And even though it's just one comment, um, it it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's one or a hundred. The severity is still there, and I definitely recognize that. And it sucks and it's humiliating to have to do this because not that I feel like I have to, but I want to because I've gone through this fandom promoting positivity and being a positive person for so long and I really made a mistake here and I really said something I should But let's just really be honest here, friend. You don't care about this. The only reason you're apologizing is because you got caught. If you weren't caught, and if it didn't spark as much of a huge response as it did, you wouldn't have made this huge apology for everyone. Everyone is so apologetic as soon as they are getting quote retweeted by half of the American fandom. You were angry, and while I can sympathize with anger as anyone can, while you're angry or arguing with someone, you have no right to use another person's orientation, gender identity, or birth sex as any way to make fun of them and make a stupid joke out of situations with snarky comments is what you're trying to do. Secondly, speak faster. And I've never been hateful or mean towards them. Boring. See, we don't really need to watch the rest of the video since it's basically the same premise i'm sorry for what i did and what happened but i want to move on to the next chapter of this which i believe he's planning a scat party uh the next one's scat pizza um it seems like something he'd do you know so while all this is happening it was being shown that evidence of john wolf aka blfc boy was also actively supporting a zoo so slate coyote a very well known dhc sewer that's already bad enough but Slate Coyote has gone on record on a private cover account to say, I don't think zoophile relationships are abuse. My brother in Christ. <laughs> you are fucking wrong. And this is the confirmed by a tweet used as using a picture of his, of his suit next to a car that they were discussing. But not only that, John then tweeted out on March 28th. It seems it sucks to see someone make a tweet that is so wrong and spreads so much disinformation. For example, Slate has had this DC suit for years. Way before anything came out about DCC, D DHC, this is 100% true as he's had this suit for 4 plus years. Here is proof DC, DHC could be of some support in that, but you know. But in John Wolf's eyes, that is misinformation. Hmph, I'm fucking shaking my fucking head that such misinformation being spread. But before, besides that, I want to end the video off by saying something I found really annoying about furry Twitter in general. The amount of unneeded praise that John Wolf received from fans, people telling him it's okay and don't worry, they weren't personally affected. I want to just say from the bottom of my heart, shut the f*** up. Secondly, John, when you're trying to apologise, don't limit who can actually apply to your t reply to your tweet, therefore cutting out people from what you were trying to do. And the only reason I could see you doing this is because you put a fucking apology and didn't want to get made fun of or offering people an apology and not offering people a place in the cum pizza part two in an apology for being a misogynistic bastard you really cannot make this shit up like holy fucking moly but also i have been labra and thank you very much for watching this video